Hello children, welcome back again to Rini Ma'am's class. Today we are going to proceed with the second part of the story, The Cherry Tree. I hope everybody of you have seen the first video or the first part of this story. So now we are going to proceed further. I hope you remember where we stopped. We stopped where the Ra where Rakesh was looking at a small tiny rooted sapling and then he understood that last year what he planted the seed has turned up to be a cherry tree and he was so excited so he pulled his grandfather to make him see that beautiful tree and grandfather then confirmed Yes, it's a cherry tree, said Rakesh and grandfather also. You should water it now and then, grandfather said. You should water this plant. Rakesh ran indoors and came back with a bucket of water. This huge big bucket of water, he brought it to pour it onto that small tiny tree. Then grandfather said, don't drown it. What is drown? Drown means die through submersion in water. So grandfather suggested that don't put the full water onto this plant. This is going to die. Rakesh gave it a sprinkling and circled it with pebbles. Then grandfather asked what are pebbles for? For privacy, said Rakesh. He looked at the tree every morning, but it did not seem to be growing very fast. Now Rakesh brought the sprinkler and he used the sprinkler to water his plant. And he even brought these pebbles so that he can just make a circle with these pebbles and make a private place for his cherry tree. So he stopped looking at it, except quickly, out of the corner of his eye. And after a week or two, when he allowed himself to look at it properly, he found that it had grown at least an inch. Now Rakesh used to see that every morning he used to see the small tree. But it, he did not find any change in that tree not growing also. So he stopped looking at it. But at the corner of his eye, he used to just give a glance to the tree. But after a week or two, he found that tree has grown up an inch. And he was so happy for that. That year, the monsoon rains came early and Rakesh plodded to and from school in raincoat and gumboots. Plodded means walk slowly with heavy steps. Now he went to the school wearing this raincoat and wearing this gumboots. So as it was raining very heavily during the monsoons. Ferns sprang from the trunk of trees. Strange looking lilies came up in the long grass. And even when it wasn't raining the trees, dripped and mist came curling up the valley. The cherry tree grew quickly in this season. Now what is mist? A condensed vapor settling in fine droplets on a surface. So during this time, the ferns grows very much on the trunks of the trees and different different types of lilies were visible on the long grass also and the cherry tree grew quickly in this season it was about two feet high when a goat entered the garden and ate all the leaves oh my god this goat has entered and has eaten up all the leaves of that cherry tree. Only the main stem and two thin branches remained. Never mind, said grandfather, seeing that Rakesh was very upset. 
it will grow again cherry trees are tough what is tough strong enough to withstand adverse conditions or rough handling one day one goat entered and eat it eaten up all the leaves of the cherry tree and so rakesh was very upset but grandfather consoled him and said don't mind don't be upset cherry trees are really tough they will take up any sort of circumstances and situations and are grow and would be growing very soon towards the end of the rainy season a new leaves appeared on the tree then a woman cutting grass cut the cherry in two oh my god now at the end of the sea, rainy season the leaves appeared but the woman who had come to cut the grasses she has cut the cherry tree into two when grandfather saw what had happened he went after the woman and scolded her but the damage could not be repaired scolded remonstrate with or rebuke someone angrily she grandfather scolded this lady but the tree is already cut into two how this can be repaired maybe it will die now said rakesh rakesh was very sad because he thought that now my tree is going to die maybe said grandfather but the cherry tree had no intention of dying grandfather was also very sad he said maybe it will die but cherry tree was so very stubborn it had no intention of dying by the time summer came round again it had sent out several new shoots with tender green leaves rakesh had grown taller too he was eight now a sturdy boy with black hair and deep black eyes black berry grandfather called them now sturdy means strongly and solidly built now rakesh has also grown up 8 years now as his cherry tree has also come up with all the green leaves new shoots and it has also grown taller like rakesh has also grown taller with his sturdy body and black hair and deep black eyes that monsoon rakesh went home to his village to help his father and mother with the planting and plowing and sowing he was thinner but stronger when he came back to grandfather's house at the end of the rains to find that the cherry tree had grown another foot it was now up to his chest now rakesh went to help his parents in the planting and plowing and slow sowing and when he returned he was little thinner but he was more stronger now and he was very happy to find that the cherry tree had grown another foot it was now up to his chest even when there was rain rakesh would sometimes water the tree he wanted it to know that he was there one day he found a bright green praying mantis perched on a branch peering at him with bulging eyes rakesh let it remain there it was the cherry tree's first visitor now you can see here this mantis this insect was there on the cherry tree and it was there perched means rest on something bulging swelling and peering means look with difficulty so one day rakesh found that a new member has come to visit this cherry tree and who was that that was a green color bright green color praying mantis which was resting on one of the branch and it was looking with very much difficulty with his bulging eyes 
Rakesh did not disturb because he was very happy to see that the cherry tree has a first visitor. The next visitor was a hairy caterpillar who started making a meal of the leaves. Now one caterpillar has also come and visited that cherry tree and it was eating the leaves also. Rakesh removed it quickly and dropped it on a heap of dry leaves. And Rakesh was very sad to see that all the leaves it's going to eat. So he just removed it quickly and dropped it on a heap of dry leaves. Heap means an untidy collection of objects placed haphazardly on top of each other. Come back when you are a butterfly. I know everybody of you knows the life cycle of a caterpillar. From a caterpillar it becomes a beautiful lovely looking butterfly. Yes. So Rakesh just removed it because it is going to damage the cherry tree. Winter came early. The cherry tree bent low with the weight of snow. Field mice sought shelter in the roof of the cottage. Now the winter has also come and cherry tree with the weight of the snow has bent down, bent low. Field mice are also going to take the shelter in the roof of the cottage. The road from the valley was blocked and for several days there was no newspaper and this made grandfather quite grumpy. His stories began to have unhappy endings. Now as the weather condition was getting poor, so grandfather was also not receiving the newspapers and as he was unable to get all the information from the newspaper, so he was becoming very unhappy and even becoming very annoyed also. So whenever he used to narrate stories to Rakesh, the stories were having unhappy endings. In February, it was Rakesh's birthday. He was nine and the tree was four, but almost as tall as Rakesh. Now, Rakesh has turned nine years and the tree was four, but it was as tall as Rakesh. One morning when the sun came out, grandfather came into the garden. Let some warmth get into my bones, he said. He stopped in front of the cherry tree, stared at it for a few moments and then called out, Rakesh, come and look, come quickly before it falls. Rakesh and grandfather gazed at the tree as though it had performed a miracle. Now what is miracle? A remarkable event or development that brings very welcome consequences. So now Rakesh and grandfather were out and Rakesh was called to see something miracle happening. Grandfather was very excited and he called Rakesh to come out and see something. What was it? There was a pale pink blossom at the end of a branch. The following year there were more blossoms. So you can see that in the cherry tree the blossoms has come and they were staring at those blossoms. It was so beautiful, so remarkable. So that year the blossoms were becoming more and suddenly the tree was taller than Rakesh even though it was less than half his age and then it was taller than grandfather who was older than some of the oak trees but Rakesh had grown too he could run and jump and climb trees as well as most boys and he read a lot of books, although he still liked listening to grandfather's tales. Now, as Rakesh was growing the same way, the tree was also growing very fast and the tree was come becoming taller and taller and taller. And Rakesh was also growing and he used to love to read a lot of books and even listen to grandfather's tales. I hope you all 
must be reading some story books, isn't it? Or listening some stories from your grannies or parents? Yes, of course, I think you do. In the cherry tree, bees came to feed on the nectar in the blossoms and tiny birds pecked at the blossoms and broke them off. But the tree kept blossoming right through the spring and there were always more blossoms than birds. That summer, there were small cherries on the tree. Rakesh tasted one and spat it out. Ah, oh, it's too sour, he said. Pecked means strike or bite something with its beak. Now, in that time, Rakesh was very, very happy to see the cherry trees on the tree. During the summertime, cherry trees were there. And he tasted ones. But it was very, very sour. In the cherry trees, the blossoms were more and the tiny birds used to come and pecked on it. And it, the blossom used to broke, broke. And these things happened and continuously was going on. They will be better next year, said Grandfather. But the birds liked them, especially the bigger birds such as the bulbuls and scarlets, minivets, and they flitted in and out of the foliage, feasting on the cherries. Now Grandfather used to tell Rakesh that this tree is going to be better next year, the blossoms will be more next year. and But the thing is that the birds loved the trees more because... They flitted, they moved swiftly and lightly on it and foliage means plant leaves collectively and they fitted in and out of the foliage, fisting on the cherries. They were enjoying, the birds were really enjoying moving up and down, going inside the leaves and eating the cherries. On a warm sunny afternoon, even when the bees looked sleepy, Rakesh was looking for grandfather without finding him in any of his favorite places around the house. Then he looked out of the bedroom window and saw grandfather recycling, recline, reclining on a cane chair under the cherry tree. There is just the right amount of shade here, said Rakesh, and I like looking at the leaves. Now one sunny more afternoon Rakesh was looking for his grandfather and he was unable to find him in any of his favorite places. Then he saw that grandfather was sitting on a recline, reclining on a cane chair under the cherry tree. There is just the right amount of shade he thought sitting under the cherry tree. They are pretty leaves, said Rakesh, and they are always ready to dance if there is a breeze. Now Rakesh was also very excited and he said that there, there are pretty tree leaves there. And the leaves always dance with the breeze. They move here and there. After grandfather had come indoors, Rakesh went into the garden and lay down on the grass beneath the tree. He gazed up through the leaves at the great blue sky and turning on his side he could see the mountain striding away into the clouds. He was still lying beneath the tree when the evening shadows crept across the garden. After some time when grandfather was tired he went indoors but Rakesh kept on sitting in, in the garden and he lay down on the grass and he looked up through the leaves at the great blue sky above. And he saw that the clouds are moving here to the other side. And he could see the mountains striding away into the clouds. Grandfather came back and sat down beside Rakesh and they waited in silence until it was dark. Then again after some time grandfather also came back and just sat beside Rakesh and they waited in silence until it was dark. There are so many trees in the forest, 
said Rakesh. But what's so special about this tree? Why do we like it so much? Now Rakesh asked a question to Grandfather. He said that there are so many trees in the forest. But why this cherry tree is so special for us? Then what answer the Grandfather gave? We planted it ourselves, said Grandfather. That's why it's special. Because Rakesh has planted that se the small seed which he has put inside the earth and he planted it. And so this, that's why it is special because he planted it himself. And he took care of that plant from the starting and still taking care of it. That's why it's like, just like a small baby to Rakesh. And so that's why it is so special. Isn't it? Have you ever planted a sapling? Yes. So that means when you plant something, a sapling of a flower, of a fruit tree, any sort of sapling, when you plant it, take care of it, you feel so special about it. Isn't it? Just one small seed, said Rakesh, and he touched the smooth bark of the tree that had grown. He ran his hand around the trunk of the tree and put his finger to the tip of a leaf. I wonder, he whispered, is this what it feels to be called? Now just Rakesh said that that small little seed I planted and now I can just touch the smooth bark of the tree. I can move here and there around the tree. I can touch the leaf, everything. This, this is so wonderful experience. This, then he asked, is this what it feels to be God? Means his query was, is this when you feel the beauty, when you have that essence that you have planted something and you have taken care of that and you are the owner of that tree or any other thing. So is this the special feeling? This was asked by Rakesh. I hope children you have understood the story. Now there is a homework. You have to write a diary entry of your experience sharing how you felt while planting a sapling and taking care of it. You have to write it in your notebook. You can even paste a picture of your sapling too. Thank you children. Thank you my dear students.